The purpose of management involves the distribution and application of resources throughout an area of responsibility and an effort to maximizing profits of an organization. After all, the goal of a business is to make money. There may be ends of the goal, such as not-for-profit or the strategic motivations of a firm. However, the gathering and uses of cash is also a means towards those goals. In order for a manager to perform his or her function, the manager must have tools and measurements necessary to accomplish program resource use. If a method of measurement does not exist or is not made available to the manager then it becomes unmanageable chaos. In effect, you cannot properly manage that which you cannot measure. The concept of reliability and maintenance involves the maintenance of the condition of resources such as machinery, facilities and the like. As these items age additional resources are required to accomplish the goal of reliability and maintenance. In some cases, depending on conditions such as design, materials, and applications, increased resources are required much earlier than intended. It then becomes the manager's responsibility to balance the risk of profitability impact against the necessary resources to maintain conditions or manage failure. Even with good measurements, resources may be lacking, or even with good resources, measurements may be lacking. The worst condition is when both are lacking. Unfortunately, the latter is far too common. In each of these three conditions the manager must fall back on his or her training related to reliability and maintenance, of which there is virtually no formal management training. Instead, the manager will often find themselves addressed on all sides for resources with the strongest voices heard over others. The term I use for this situation is chaos management. Literally, the manager is put into the position of management by exception with decisions being based upon the information immediately at hand. While this information is seldom accurate, the manager is often left needing to make sure that serious issues are not repeated. The result is excessive spares, overburdening procedures, and other items many of us see or assume as knee-jerk reactions. I am the Motor Doc and we will continue to discuss this and other topics in the future.